And here we have our new e dyner test. Let's compare the e dyner test with the e compo test. As you can see, it's bigger. It use, they both are using uh, the same technology. They both are uh, Rockwell based. But of course, the main difference is here we have five kilo load and here we have 100 kilo load. I would like to drive your attention to the main feature of uh, ADENA test. Again, as I said before, this is a 100 kilo portable instrument. This is the only one which has this kind of load for a portable. 100 kilo load means that you can uh, compare uh, this portable unit like uh, yeah, to, to a bench instrument due to the heavy load. As well as for a compo test, e dyna test can be used vertically, horizontally, upside down. e dyna test will not be influenced by sample mass and due to the heavy load you can uh, uh, use the instrument on a sample that require a minimal surface preparation. Last but not least, as well as for a compo test, you can test samples which has uh, a thickness uh, even below one millimeter. Now, with the e test, we propped here a calibration standard. Calibration standards written 42.9 HRC. Let's see if we are able to achieve the same value. First things we have to do, we have to load the spring. Okay, now the spring is loaded. Let's try. 42.8, as you can see, and we got 42.9. I would say it's just perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you.